Hey, good morning, fellas. It is the 22nd. It's Ash Wednesday. Um, here, I'll try not to let it stabilize. Had uh, woke up and we usually run the washing machine in the evening. And I had to uh, take it apart. There's some of the pieces. And no, there aren't going to be any more, any, any spare parts left over. <laughs> Disconnected it from the disposal and cleaned that tube out, which was blocked. Uh, with some grease and some other stuff. Cleaned it all out inside, got some of the debris out of there, which was kind of scary how much crap there was in there. I'm sure it'll work. <clears throat> but what the uh, gist of this video is, let me see if I can find a place to sit down. So, yeah, yeah I'll sit down and I'll go in the office. I'm getting a stand. I'm just taking a small break. Uh, in between my uh, taking it apart phase, cleaning it phase, and then putting it back together. It took me all total of uh, two YouTube videos. I looked up the model, Frigidaire, and then the, the type of it, and poof, we're done. Um, this is where I sit and read, play chess. I like it because it gets a little bit of natural light, but not too much to where it's too bright. There we go. Um, I can tell you, uh, I spoke to a couple of the guys at, uh, it's a call, it's called Borderland Brawlers here in El Paso. And I'll go down there when I feel the need to uh, hold mitts, hold mitts for guys and stuff like that and uh, help them. The thing I, I saw there, there were a couple of uh, trainers there and uh, we all get together after the fact around lunchtime and talk about stuff and uh I was very surprised at some of the trainers uh, and their opinions of their students. I, I don't, here's, 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 here's the gist of it. Young men don't need to be told what to do all the time. Uh, there are guys that are just completely built different and their version of a jab m may look a little bit awkward or they may have a bowed arm or a bowed leg for a kick or things like that. It's just... As a coach, you're not supposed to tear the guy down. You're supposed to encourage him and, and let him kind of figure things out. But you give him some good advice on how to, you know, where to hit. And if you're going to, you know, if it's a closed fist, you have to squeeze it super tight if you don't have gloves on. And uh, you can't be a lazy fighter if you're going to get in a street fight. You got to keep your chin tucked, you know, and show him how to roll a punch and stuff like that. But you don't, you don't have to run him down. You shouldn't. Young men need to be encouraged, especially now. They need to be told that you'll get it. You, you're not supposed to get everything. You're not supposed to understand everything. You're not supposed to be, after somebody gives you one lesson, you're not supposed to take that lesson and turn yourself into a uh, MMA star champion. But it takes uh, dedication. You know, the young men have the dedication, the desire, the will, and all that kind of stuff. They just don't need to be. Uh, I don't see how, if you're going to try to help somebody or coach somebody, why you need to make fun of them. Why, and or make them the butt of a joke for somebody else's expense so the gym can have a laugh. And, um, I told one of the guys there, and he's a, a littler guy. They get all feisty and stuff like that. And I just, I just, I think I've learned over time that your lives as younger men, uh, 57 here, I know I look like I'm 25, 35, but I uh, thank you. But anyways, you know, uh, your lives are so much more difficult than mine is. They're talking about possible nuclear war later this year. So I have no clue. I can't imagine the things that you guys have to live with that I didn't have to worry about. I could uh, tell somebody to F off and kiss my ass and all this kind of stuff or rob them or threaten them. And they couldn't pull a cell phone out and record all my stupid shit. You guys can send an email. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I won't believe this subject. Listen, this is to you older guys. If you're going to try to help some of the younger guys out, uh, offer them, consider just consider it because I'm not telling you what to do. Consider offering them some constructive 
instructions without beating them up, verbally beating them up. I just, I think it's some, some of the trainers, in my opinion, are bullies. Uh, and I, I, I'm not trying to go to the gym to show off that I can box a little bit better than you can, or I can uh, pick you up on a single leg and dump you on your head. I'm not, I'm, that's not what it's about. I'm trying to help the younger guys in just, you guys, you guys are doing a great job. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not. You're supposed to make mistakes, but you're also supposed to be careful with the people that you choose to allow into your life to help you move in one direction. You got to make sure those people's, those coaches and trainers and teachers are in a good headspace so that they help you without making it too painful. All right. I hope that makes sense. I just, I just don't think that's right to uh, do that to the young men. And they're, and they're simply trying to learn. Okay. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't take care of yourself like a port in a G string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Hey, later this later today, I'm, I'm going to try on a, uh, a, a, a chant, chess champion, uh, a master. Excuse me. He's not a champion. He's a, he's a registered master. He charges me a couple dollars if I lose. So, and I've never beaten him. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, bye-bye.